What's up everyone and welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2025 Hyundai Palisade. Let's go right into it with a chart. Plenty of trim options here for you on this Palisade 7 in fact, ranging from that SE at nearly 37K all the way up to that Calligraphy Night Edition at just over 54. So quite a range here as far as MSRPs go, but that makes it hopefully more ideal for you to find your way behind the wheel of one of these. In terms of engine, what do you got? One and only 3.8 liter V6, giant V6, 291 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. Should be plenty of power to get out of your own way. Pair with an 8-speed auto. The SE is the only trim with standard and solely option of front-wheel drive. That next group there you'll see will have front wheel or all wheel depending on what you choose and the calligraphy night will be only all wheel drive mpgs there you can see they're very similar to each other you're only losing a couple on the highway if you opt for that all wheel drive real quick guys here ben's car reviews there's no fluff we'll keep it under 10 minutes if that's something that's intriguing to you and you like this content as you watch please like and subscribe and i'll keep growing the channel let's keep going a familiar look is back again for this palisade but there's no issue with that I think it still competes well against the others in the segment. At first glance, I think the details of the Palisade design are easy to overlook, but this is an intricate and well thought through exterior and I think it is well done. So let's see what 2025 is bringing. We all know there's a lot going on on the front end of this Palisade. Within all the detail are the headlights and the daytime running lights, which are powered by LEDs all around, which is great to see. All taillights except for the SE will be LED also. Auto high beams are standard across the board and the calligraphy trims will have premium rear accent lighting as well. The SE, SEL, and SEL premium and limited grills will be black with chrome coating. The XRT is a dark XRT finish. Calligraphy is premium with satin chrome and the night edition is a night edition exclusive dark finish so definitely nice to have some different grill looks across the board the lower bumpers will be generally two-toned with the XRT being unique again with black on the lower end the calligraphy will have body colored and that night edition will have gloss black the night edition will also have dark finish chrome rear bumper garnish so you guys can see here there's a lot of specifics to that calligraphy night edition that are all fully focused on being blacked out rolling these things down the road will be some nice wheel setups se and sel trims will have 18 inch wheels the xrt will have 20 inch xrt exclusive wheels sel performance and limited will have 20 inch calligraphy will have 20 inch calligraphy exclusive and the calligraphy night edition will have you guessed it exclusive 20 inch wheels the bottom two trims will have tire dimensions of 245-60, the rest will have 245-50, so plenty of width for grip, a little less sidewall on those top trims to show off those wheels. All side mirrors are going to be body colored, heated, and have incorporated blinkers. All but the SE and SEL will also be auto dimming. SE, SEL, SEL Premium will have two-tone door garnish, XRT has black, Limited has chrome, calligraphy has body colored, and the night edition has dark finish. The standard door handle is satin chrome. The XRT and night edition have them body colored. The calligraphy trims will have body colored wheel arches as well. All but the SE will have roof rails. The XRT and night edition trims will have them in black. The rest will be silver. All but the SE will have a hands-free smart lift gate. This will be a shift by wire system and drive modes are standard on all these trims. The max towing on this Palisade will be 5,000 pounds, which should be plenty for a vehicle like this. And if you need more than 5,000 pounds of towing consistently, you're probably not buying a Palisade. All-wheel drive models will have a tow mode. This is a 2024 IIHS top safety pick, so that's some good reassurance to keep you safe and your family. The Palisade measures in at 196.1 inches long, 77.8 inches wide, 68.9 inches tall, and has 8 inches of ground clearance. Best bang for your buck, trim is a clear choice. The SEL gives you a great setup for just 3,000 more than the base, and without gaining performance up the ladder, you gain strictly bells and whistles, as well as some exterior flash. So I think the most frugal way is certainly the SEL, so let's get into that interior now. A very well done interior design here on the Palisade lineup. 
With these price tags, you should absolutely expect a great design, and I'm just glad to see Hyundai followed through. First of all, this Palisade has eight passenger capability, and that will be standard on the SE. The SEL Premium will have that option for eight, but otherwise, aside from the SE, every trim has standard seven seat capacity. One of my favorite things to see in a lineup, especially an expensive lineup, is the infotainment screen being the same size throughout, and the Palisade follows through with a standard 12.3 inch screen. Standard Apple CarPlay Android Auto capability. The bottom three trims will have a 4.2 inch driver's info display. The rest will have another 12.3 inch display. Those two 12.3s look great paired up with each other. The limited and calligraphy trims have a heads up display. The limited and calligraphy trims have the Harman Kardon premium audio with 12 speakers and Quantum Logic Surround with Clarify Music Restoration Technology. That is a mouthful. In the end, you're getting a nice sound system. The SEL Premium will have a conventional sunroof. The Limited and Calligraphies will have a dual pane moonroof. The Calligraphies have a full display digital rear view mirror. SEL and Higher have a wireless charger standard. The SEL and higher will have a leather wrapped steering wheel. The calligraphy alone will have a two tone leather wrapped wheel. And the SEL premium and higher also have them heated. The calligraphy will have quilted leather door panels. SEL premium and higher have an integrated memory system for driver's seat and exterior mirrors. The SE is going to have cloth seats. SEL, XRT, SEL Premium will have H-Text trimmed, the XRT being in black only. The Limited will have leather trimmed. The Calligraphy will have premium Nappa leather. And the Night Edition will have dark premium Nappa leather. The SE has standard six-way adjustable driver's seat. The rest have eight-way power driver's seat. The Calligraphy trims get an Ergo Motion driver's seat. The Limited plus the Calligraphy will also have a thigh cushion extension for the driver's seat. All trims, but the SE will have heated front seats. The SL Premium and higher will add in ventilated front seats as well. And on top of this, SEL Premium and higher also have heated and ventilated second row. The Limited and Calligraphies will even have a heated third row. There's standard one touch second row seat slide for third row access. There's up to 86.4 cubic feet of cargo volume behind the first row. If you have all the rows up, there will be 18 cubic feet way in the back behind the third row. Hyundai Smart Sense will provide some nice driver's assist, safety and technology features, and as always more, the higher you buy. Overall, I'm not seeing much to complain about in this lineup as far as standard features. I think Hyundai did these fairly. Interview guys, if you're in the market for a mid-size SUV, such as this Palisade, I think you're off to a great start checking out this one. The mid-size SUV segment has zero shortage of options, very congested, and pretty much all the big players have some skin in the game. Um, big players such like as Kia with the Telluride, uh, Mazda with the CX-90, Toyota with the Grand Highlander, Ford Bronco, the list goes on and on, and I will attach videos that I have ready for 2025 models at the end of this if you want to directly compare out those charts, see what you're getting at a real quick glance, of course, listen to the video, keep it under 10 minutes, get you that important information. but. If this Palisade is the route you want to go down, I think Hyundai has set up a great uh, setup of trims here, lots of different options, MSRPs that I think are fairly fair. You know, if you want to get up towards $50,000, um, that is an expensive vehicle, but you are getting a lot of cool little features for the money. That's really up to you whether you want to spend that on amenities, because like I mentioned, performance is not changing as you go up, unless you want that all wheel drive option, you got to get beyond the SE. But other than that, you're getting the same engine. So you're really just paying for looks and features. But if this is the route you want to go, I think you're making a great call. Hopefully this video will lay things out and clear for you guys. Thank you for watching this Benz car review. Please subscribe if not already. If you have an idea for a future review, drop them in the comments. I'll see what I can do. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I'll have that option. Check that out and join if you'd like. And I'll catch you on the next Benz car review. <laughs>